W.H. Bagshaw is an icon of American manufacturing. For 153 years, it has produced billions and billions of pins for countless industries and applications. It remains the number one pin manufacturer in the United States. So why am I holding a baseball bat in a baseball training facility? A facility that's one floor above the company's manufacturing shop floor. In short, it's to celebrate Walter Bats, what I call its side hustle. Walter Bats makes custom bats here on site for little leaguers up through college players, and it's even eyeing the major league players. Today, we're here to learn more about the hows and whys of creating Walter Bats, how it complements WH Bagshaw, and with any luck, we'll work in some time in the batting cages. So the WH Bagshaw Company started in Lowell, Massachusetts in 1870. So we're celebrating our 153rd year this year. Lowell was a big textile mecca back then. Um, so we were manufacturing pointed pins primarily for the textile industry. Uh, early 20s, 1918, we had a real boom with phonograph needles. So at one point uh, around 19, 1919, we had an order for 1 billion 750 million phonograph needles. And I like to say we just finished that order last week, so it's, you know, it's a good one. <laughs> so when our son was in high school, he was pitching and had been working with a coach who was making bats in his garage and they had approached us as they were winding their business down to see if we wanted to buy the lathe. We didn't need a wood lathe, but it occurred to us that we could certainly get into the business of making bats. So we worked with him, um, got his customer list, and decided we had the infrastructure and the passion to get into a new line of business. So we started making wood bats in early 2021. We as a family thought, wow, this is a, a very unique opportunity for us to do something that still, you know, is within our wheelhouse of, of turning. Um, so it's, you know, basically we're turning wood as opposed to turning metal. Uh, and it, it's also, you know, part of what captures the heart for us as a family. Patrick Harvey, manager of operations at Walter Batts. It was a, a, a new venture that got me excited and so I came in. When a customer purchases a bat, or a team purchases a, a, a various bats, they provide us with a, a specification of specific model, length, weight for each bat. Part of the, the process of making the bat is to choose the wood type. So they specify maple, birch, or ash. When you do that, you're gonna then select the style of bat you want, um, and then that style would be put on the lathe and it's going to be carved out on the lathe. So from cutting the bat on the CNC lathe to the final hand sand buffing would take almost 40 to 45 minutes. Uh, quite a bit of time for one bat. As time went on, the, the, the CNC lathe that we were using became unreliable and so we decided to invest in a, a new CNC lathe. So we've always been very welcoming when anyone in the community wants to come in and take a tour of our machine shop. We haven't had a lot of people asking for that, but we have so many people that want to come in and see the bat production. And it's really great to explain to them that the same way you load a piece of wood to create a bat, you can load a rod of metal and create components. And we talk about where those components go and how essential they are, right? People understand essential manufacturing now. We as manufacturers, you know, PMPA members, we deal with that every day, the struggle of getting people turned on to manufacturing, right? It's, it's palpable. Everyone, everyone talks about that whenever we're at a PMPA event or an IMTS. That's, that's the conversation. You kind of have to walk 
not through our manufacturing area, but to go to the bat production area, you, you get, you know, you're, you're in with it, you're within the manufacturing bubble, right? So you're seeing some opportunity. Parent walks through and says, wow, what's this? You know, what's this over here? Well, that's a Swiss machine. Well, what's a Swiss machine, right? So that conversation, just, just the ability to have that conversation with somebody could, you know, change a trajectory of, of, of a student. So it's been really good to explain what kind of careers are there. The kids really appreciate understanding geometry, math, dimensioning. They understand that when you're talking about it in terms of a bat. They don't really care about it as much when they're in high school and they're hearing about aerospace or medical parts, but the bats are relevant and they matter to them and it's really helping us connect the dots. You know, everyone wants a, a baseball bat. Um, but, you know, there could be you know, professional baseball players swinging Walter bats. There could be, you know, more college kids swinging bats, high school kids swinging bats. Really, we want that to grow organically. So, you know, we're not, we're not chasing those. We just want people to, to find us. We want people to identify with who we are as a company, um, who we are as a manufacturer of, of baseball bats. Um, you know, we're, we're part of the community, right? We, we want to foster mentorship. And, and th those things, hopefully, are what people find when they're looking for, for a bat. And, and maybe they stumble on it. They stumble upon a, a cool marketing ad, a cool TikTok video, and like, who's this company? And they see that, and then they, then they really find out, because that doesn't show you who you are as a company. That shows you what you can do, and it's all flashy, right? But if they then identify with who we are and what we're doing in this community and what we're trying to create, that's a win. That's, that's what we're trying to do.